in our crew and in my position, I'm not in a situation where I have to find myself worrying about who's filming or like how it's going to be put together. There's like a lot of crews where the filmer is as down as somebody like Will is and also Greg. Just being able to trust them. I'm very fortunate, you know, I feel like I'm in a very conducive environment for filming. We were just talking about this the other day, me and Chad. It's like a unique thing to have that environment, especially for so long. Will has just been around and down for countless years. I wouldn't even know where to start when we started doing this. He's a ride or die, and of course, with Greg, it's a special thing when he makes a project, I think so. It would be received a lot differently from another couple of filmers, and it would have a different vibe for sure. And I think what Will wants to do and what Greg wants to do is kind of always in the realm of what I want my stuff to look like. So it's a really good relationship with both of those guys. I just saw this comment the other day about this video that we made and somebody was like, God damn, somebody filmed those lines of Gilbert really good. I'm assuming it had to be Will. I just thought that was cool that somebody's like recognizing how good of a skater and filmer he is. Me and Greg haven't known each other as long as Will, but we're buddies. It's a similar vibe. When we're all together in the van, it just works, you know? <gasps> Greg and Will are the type of dudes that want to have a good time, film something when the time calls for it, give it the respect that it needs and like the seriousness, you know, where it's like, all right, now we're working. look at Greg as more of like a mentor, you know. He's introduced me to a lot of different parts of the world that I wouldn't have known about without him showing me, or whether it's art or music or movies. So much of the destiny, a pinprick on my knee. The frost you paint across our dead earth. I was always into workshop, but a uh, minefield freaked me out. It changed my thinking process about skating. It's different when photosynthesis is on the TV and you're like, okay, this was made before I started skating or like the year that I started skating. When Minefield came out, something switched in my brain where I was like, dude, I want to do something different. I'm so inspired by this. Then a couple years later to be working with Greg on Propellers, dream come true situation. You want to give somebody like Greg your best and you want to like be as honorable as possible just because I personally know how much Greg puts into his work, how much it means to him. And he understands that that's what it takes to make something good, in my opinion. really just like to have a project you know at the end of every video that I've made where you're working on it for a long time generally by the end of it I'm kind of exhausted and this time I don't exactly feel like that right now but that's kind of how it's been over the years for me I kind of get to the end of the project and I'm like oh my god I need a breath of something else but right now I don't really feel that way I do get a lot of personal satisfaction. I don't think I keep my old video parts in my head that much. I've watched this new video probably like twice. To me, it's just like, this is what we do. Of course I want to film another video part. It's just like artists making albums. Like I have so much respect for an artist. Going back to the drawing board, this is our job. That's the whole deal. It's sad some of these younger kids don't get it, and they probably won't ever get it the way people in my age group do. It's like tradition at this point. I've even heard people talk about it in recent months. It's like, uh, we're making a traditional video. We're doing it old school. We're filming video parts, and it's like, how is that now an old way of doing professional skating? 
that shit trips me out when I hear people talk like that. Or when I see younger dudes that are so good at skating and they don't care at all about street skating or filming. I can't understand it. I want to understand it, but I'm like, dude, it's kind of dark. <laughs> good is you know we spoke earlier about other crews that maybe don't have a filmer they could trust like i can trust will for those people in those circumstances i think the new way of doing things and how there's more than one way to do things like you have an iphone and you're some kid that maybe lives in the middle of nowhere maybe you're not filming video parts but you're putting footage on instagram and then you eventually could get sponsored that way and so that's good for those kids but you know, I'll probably sound like an old soldier or something, but to me, the fundamentals of skating are in a video part and in shooting photos. These are like the pillars of professional skateboarding. Things that have always been here. You learn the fundamentals, you're around something long enough. You learn what goes into making a video part. You learn what goes into shooting a photo, shooting an interview. They're tools to me just putting those tools down and like pretending they're not important or whatever. I almost feel a little bit of disrespect to the old way of doing things. Probably sounding like an old fart to some of these kids that are reading this, but that's the real deal to me. That's what you do. Like, what are you practicing for? Or what are you going to the skate park for? What are you learning new tricks for? It's all to get it on film or to shoot a photo of it. I'm just trying to not put out something that's exactly like I already put out. I don't want to just like bore people or myself, even if it's just a little bit different than the video part before, as long as I can have some movement on the needle. That's what excites me and hopefully keeping myself interested in skating and excited about it. Hopefully that keeps other people interested in my skating too. I want to do things that inspire other people. I want to do things in a way that seems original. And if I can choose what my contribution in skating is, is to continue the loop of inspiration and dudes that you look up to. Like I want to inspire other people to be themselves and to take a page out of my book or whatever they want to do, whatever you want to call it. As long as someone else is being inspired by what I'm making, then that's the goal for me, you know? Mm -hmm.